Hi everybody, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to make some soup um, for our tea tomorrow night um, because Hubby's working today and he's out tonight. So I thought if I do this today, I'm doing some baking and things today as well. If I do this today, I can go shopping tomorrow before the shops sell out of everything because of the parts being closed and one thing and another, pe people are gonna panic by. Go get the fresh stuff for my Christmas dinner. Um, so I thought if I bake today, bake this, make this soup and then I don't have to bother tomorrow trying to find anything or whatever. whatever. So, please give the thumbs up at the end of the video if you enjoy it. Let me know if you do the, um, the soup, whether you enjoy it. And um, the recipe is a James Martin recipe that was on this morning last week. It's, um, che I'm just looking at my phone, cheese and thyme straws with curried cauliflower soup. So I'm going to do the curried cauliflower soup, but I'm going to also make in the second part, second part of the video, um, the cheese straws. But my straws are going instead of the thyme, I'm going to use uh, the cheese, but with garlic and chives as well, because those are the ones I've got in, and I'm trying to use bits and pieces up out of the pantry. So we will do the cheese and um, garlic straws tomorrow. Oh, sorry, on the next video, not tomorrow. Uh, and then we will um, do the curried cauliflower soup today. So you can actually find the recipe on this on the This Morning app, but um, I will list it below on the one that I've done, which will be a little bit different. Um, now in the recipe, James uses full fat milk and I'm going to use semi-skim milk. Um, it won't be quite as rich, I understand that, but I have some milk in the freezer, so... I've just defrosted it in the microwave. For those of you that don't know, you can actually freeze milk. And I usually keep a couple of bottles in the freezer, um, which you can then just bang in the microwave. It took about a quarter of an hour for this to defrost. I've shaken it up, it's absolutely fine. And you just use it as normal fresh milk. And what I would say is obviously the date's wrong. So within when you've defrosted it, I'd use it within, I don't know, two to three days. My best judge on food is to smell it if it smells okay it usually is okay but yeah two to three days normally however this um, recipe calls for a full liter of milk which the bottle is 1.136 liters but that won't really matter i'm going to put it all in anyway so to crack on with the soup i have got here um a small cauliflower which i've just chopped up into small florets it's like kind of that size i've got some curry powder which you just need a tablespoon and the milk and that's it for this part of the recipe when you serve it you need a drizzle of um, double cream and a drizzle of olive oil as well if you want to put that on um, the cream I may do I'm not so sure with the olive oil but anyhow that's that now for the cheese straws you need some puff pastry now I would have done these straight away but this is frozen again I buy things and put them in the freezer so this will be the second part of the video. So puff pastry, you need 50 grams of Parmesan cheese and grated. Now I did have, I, I buy a chunk of Parmesan cheese and I grate it up myself. So I've grated it up in here. There's more than 50 grams there. I need to weigh that out, but I don't want to do that until I'm gonna do it. Um, and then I'm going to use garlic granules and, ch and chives as well. So I'll show you that one tomorrow. But for now, we'll crack on with the cauliflower soup. So we need, um, first, let, let me move the, all the, the things for the, um, pop it all over here to start with. Where we know where we are. All we need to do, move that one, is, we've got a large pan. Let me move some things here. Get yourself a cosy cuppa if you haven't. I've got my red tea for a change from coat in my Santa's little helper cup. I'll have a little drink of that. Oh, it's nearly cold actually. I ought to make another one. My kettle is never off in this house. So, let's see. I'm going to pop the, all you need to do is pop the cauliflower in. So the uh, pan. Now the leaves on this work very nice. They've gone a bit wizened. So I would 
I also put some of the inner leaves on, but as I say, I've thrown them away because they didn't look very good. This um, cauliflower was on offer in Tesco's, by the way. They've got them on at the minute. I think it was 69p. Maybe not even that. Maybe a bit less. I'm not sure. I can't really remember, but I got it last week. So, good deal at the moment. I also need a spoon. need a tablespoon of curry powder. This serves two people, according to the recipe. So... I have got here medium curry powder and you just put I need a tablespoon ish if you like it hotter use a this is um, medium but if you like it hotter obviously use um, a high heat one just sprinkle that in there and then I shall put the whole of the milk in there and as I say the other recipe calls for full fat and I'm just going to use full bottle of semi skin. You could do it skimmed as well, I suppose. It just wouldn't be as creamy. There we go. So that's that. And then we bring that on to, um, up to boil and simmer until the cauliflower is soft. Um, and then when it's done, you pour it into a food processor if you have one. Put it into a clean pan when you're ready to serve it um, and then warm it back through. Sorry, I'm trying to think what I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think of me doing it. That's what that's what I keep stuttering about. So yeah, so boil it up until the simmer it until the cauliflower florets are soft. Blitz it with the um, food processor if you have one. If you haven't, use a hand blender and do it in the pan, and then you can uh, warm it back through when you're ready to serve. We'll do the cheese straws to go with it on the next video and hopefully it will be lovely and tasty uh, and enjoyable. Now tomorrow, when it's boiled and when I'm ready to serve it, I will check the seasoning on it and make sure it doesn't need any salt and pepper in there. But I think with the curry powder in there, it should be fine. Um, so we'll take it from there and we'll see what it's like. Now, I'm not, in fact, now I'm not going to cover it. I usually do, but I'm just going to pop it on there to boil and then um, see what it turns out like so for now that's all i need to do so simple and hopefully so tasty too now james martin's a yorkshire man after my own hat i'm a yorkshire girl so hopefully it's my kind of recipe and i and we all enjoy the thing the taste so please let me know what your thoughts are let me know if you make it and um yeah give it a thumbs up please try it uh, i'm gonna have a go at freezing it as well if um if hubby ends up being out tomorrow night working then i might pop it in the freezer try a bit myself and then pop it in the freezer and if it's nice then i'll make some more um and pop that in the freezer so it's a quick and easy warm through with soup you can actually do it from frozen most of them you can heat them up from frozen um and uh, so it's a quick dinner tea nice warming soup as well and with this one with it having a kick of the curry in there it'll be lovely and warm as well okay so my next job is to do the cheese straws when the pastry is defrosted and i also want to do make a chocolate log which i'm going to put on here um so there's quite a lot going off this week <laughs> i've got my big food haul tomorrow as i say before the shops run out of everything i hope they haven't run out tomorrow mm, maybe they will have who knows? I ought to go today, but I'm not going to go tomorrow. I'll show you how I'm going to do my menu list as well. And that's another video that I'm going to bring to you. So I might video uh, that today while I'm uh, waiting for my pastry to defrost. Anyhow, I digress. I hope you're all okay. I hope that you can have a Christmas that you want to have, even though it'll be smaller Christmas, quieter Christmas generally. Um, I think, you know, we need to do it. We need to do it to protect our families and as relatives um, that live away we need to protect them as well now if you saw the scenes on the news last night after they announced the lockdown would start at midnight the scenes from the railway station the tube and it, it was just horrendous of people trying to get out of london before lockdown it was really really crazy and for those people 
that are trying to escape the lockdown for no other reason just so that they're not locked down i think it's really really selfish if you need to get away so that you can be with your family just think about it because that area apparently is the one that's got this virus the most at the moment but if you then leave and come to the rest of the country then it's going to spread even faster because you could unwillingly know unwittingly know whatever the correct word is that you don't know that you haven't got the virus you could be carrying it you could be passing someone who has it and they don't know they've got it and you get it it's really scary so please people be safe think about each other as well don't just think about yourself just think about each other and think, do I really need to go there? It's At the end of the day, we can all have a big celebration after the 25th's gone. It doesn't have to. I know that's the traditional Christmas day and I know why and everything else, but surely people would want you to be safe rather than go see each other just because you can or just because you are because it's Christmas day. I get it. I've got relatives that you know, are going to be on their own and things at Christmas and that I'd love to see my brother. I won't see my brother on Christmas Day. And I really, really would like to see my brother this year on Christmas Day. I didn't see him for the last couple of years, so it's getting harder and harder. Um, so, yeah, please have a think about other people. Um, and in the meantime, stay safe and good luck if you try the soup. If you need the recipe before I've put the other one on, the two straw one, Please have a look on the This Morning app or the website or have a look for James Martin curried, curried cauliflower soup. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and you'll find it on the internet. But I will link it um, below as well as soon as I've uploaded the video. Okay, so I'll see you soon, people. Bye-bye.